Welcome in fellow travelers, beautiful travelers. I'm Maria Indigo Earth. I am here to do a reading for Cancer, our water signs. Cancer, you are the feelers. You are ruled by the moon. Things that are secret and hidden. Emotions, feelings. Your dual nature is to be sensitive, yet you can be very moody. And your drive is to nurture. You are the feelers. So welcome in cross watchers. You could be connected to or in a relationship with a cancer. Therefore, you are here to find out what's going on with your person. Good to have you here. Some of this message could be for you as well. So take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. Our energies are working together to bring you a message for your highest good, highest growth, soul evolution, highest atonement for yourself as well as the collective as we welcome in the new earth right on this journey walking each other home so use your intuitive nature listen for those intuitive hits goosebumps something in your gut use your inner knowing and use your discernment take what resonates leave the rest behind i'm having a lot of trouble today <laughs> A lot of trouble today shuffling. I don't know why. Could be the weather. Who knows? I will have an extended at the end of this video where I will dive deeper into the message. If there are zodiac signs that come through screaming, I will look at those in the extended as well. And I will also look at tendencies that need to be released as well as energies that need to be embraced. If you like the content being shared, please like and subscribe to help the channel grow so that others may also hear the messages as well. So let's get a theme for you, Cancer. The feelers, the water bearers. Let's get a theme for you. See where we go. See where this message takes us. We have the world change. Maybe that'll be it. It's kind of a major theme. And we have the Three of Cups. So change that could bring forth celebration, joy, happiness. Let's see where we go with that. Could be finding your tribe. Could be companionship. Could be working together, collaborative efforts. One more time through, please. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. Please bring the message forth for the highest atonement of the soul is watching as well as that of the collective. Thank you. All right, here we go. Your overall energy. Ten of Pentacles. Foundation. Sitting pretty good. Feeling pretty solid. This could have something to do with resources, time, energy, your situation. The Page of Cups. Could be a love offer coming through. Could be an apology. Could be an opening of the heart chakra. Could be motivation to do something that's more um, emotionally fulfilling. Your opportunity. The Empress. Manifestation. The Empress is somebody who takes her resources and, like, creates empires. What the universe is working on with you, King of Cups, working from the heart chakra, heart wisdom. Energies that surround you that you might not be aware of, Nine of Wands. Maybe feeling some burden, some apprehension. Um, this is somebody who's come through a long battle, Perseverance. See how he's got the black eye, but he's still holding the wand. So been through some battles, but still carrying on. Energies that are coming in in the near future. Strength. Inner resolve. Confidence. Energies that are fading away. The hanged man feeling stuck. Not able to make a decision. How you're showing up in this situation. Four of swords healing. Taking a step back. Rest, rejuvenate what's right in front of you, 
the wheel of fortune things are turning turn of events hopes and fears three of wands new aspirations waiting for manifestations to come in and your outcome whoa ace of wands that's the catalyst that gets things moving that's the spark right that's the matchstick that's new beginning desire inspiration and we have woo the sun wow clarity understanding warmth joy um in the flow so let's see where we go with this for you cancer let's see where we go clarify the page of cups please this is a situation what is the page of cups here for cancer clarify the page of cups for cancer signs water signs our feelers water bearers what is the page of cups Ten of Wands, Three of Coins. So you got the Nine of Wands and energies that surround you, and you got the Ten of Wands. This is the ending of a cycle, ending of some kind of karmic cycle. Um, this could be ending of some sort of collaboration. When you have the Three of Coins, that's people working together. And then you have the Ace of Swords coming through, right? This is raw, authentic power. This is like truth, clarity, um, communication, ideas. So this could have something to do with working with other people, working in collaboration. This could be anybody. This could be your family. This could be a relationship. This could be friends. Um... This could be something that um, has to do with like, you know, maybe a school project. It could be anything that you've been working, put the pieces of the puzzle together. Anything that you are working on in collaboration with somebody else. Like I said, it could be a relationship. Um, this has been a long haul. It's been a long haul. And... You've really put a lot of emotion into it. You've put a, a lot of emotion into it, probably giving more than you were receiving, feeling, you know, somewhat exhausted, a little bit overwhelmed. Um, but it brought forth some kind of truth, some sort of clarity, some sort of message of authenticity. So let's see what that's about. You have the Empress that is crossing the Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. What is the Empress about for Cancer, please? Clarify the Empress. What is the Empress about for Cancer? Clarify the Empress, please. What is the Empress? Whatever this has been, it's been a long journey in collaboration. We've got the Four of Wands, so some kind of commitment, some sort of stability. We've got with the Three of Swords. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. So, whatever this collaboration is, there was a lot of emotion that was put into it, right? Um, trying to, like, stabilize something, maybe bring forth a commitment. Um, you know, the Four of Wands are those types of um, milestones that we as a collective say are like life changing. So it could be graduation, it could be a baby, it could be an engagement, it could be retirement, it could be promotion, it could be a new job. Um, and it's brought about some pain, some heartbreak. And you're feeling a little bit, could be holding on to something, hoping for a change or hoping for things to turn around. Maybe really trying to manifest something different Maybe something didn't turn out exactly the way that you thought it would or you were hoping it would turn out differently because it looks like whatever this is, there's been a lot of emotion put into it. A lot of hope and it's bringing in, it's bringing in some pain because you've got the king of um, cups up in what the universe is working on, what the universe is crowning you with. 
So this is about heart wisdom. Something that has to do with heart wisdom. Let's see what that is for you. Clarify the King of Cups, please. What is the, what is the King of Cups? <clears throat> because your theme is you have change in some sort of collaboration. Three of Cups. Right? Change in some sort of collaboration. So we have the Five of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles. That's very nurturing energy. And the Five of Cups is feeling regret, feeling lonely, feeling loss, feeling sad, feeling hopeless, feeling depressed. Sometimes the Five of Cups, too, can be um, victim mentality. Holy buckets. That's too many. Just one more, please. But your outcome is new inspiration with the sun. Give me one more, please, for this. One more time through. Queen of Cups with the Eight of Swords. It's victim mentality. So whatever you have put into some kind of collaboration with somebody else, you put a lot of emotion into it. Um, the King of Cups is somebody who has a lot of emotion but doesn't know how to channel it right or, or doesn't know how to um, express it correctly. And it comes out kind of, can come out sideways, can come out passive aggressive. Sometimes that has to do with low self-esteem or a lot of insecurities. And when you've got the Queen of Cups with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups, this is about um, really nurturing some sort of victim mentality, feeling like, Feeling like you've got, you know, like there are people that do things like in community service or, you know, um, like nurses, right? Nurses are constantly having to give emotionally all day long and they get very little back. And, you know, after a while, when you're in the, the field, the service field in general, social workers, those types of fields, when you're giving and giving and giving emotionally and you're not getting your cup filled back up, sometimes you can get in those, you know, like you're you're feeling victimized. You're feeling a victim mentality. Sometimes it's giving out of maybe a need for self-esteem than it is about giving out of um, compassion, out of a reserve that you have left over. Sometimes people are giving and, and they don't have any reserve, but they just keep doing it anyway. Because um, they feel obligated. And that's not a reason to that's not a reason to collaborate with people. If you're feeling overburdened or you're giving and, and you don't have it to give, um, that happens in a lot of codependent relationships where one person is taking more than they're giving. Right, and the other person thinks that they keep giving if they keep giving if they keep giving, um, that that person will will see their value. So it could be giving in order to be seen, like to validate you or valid or give you value, some sort of value. So let's see what the strength card is. What is the strength card? That's that inner reserve, finding your inner power, taking back your power. Right? We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's taking back your power. Having to give from a, a, a place of des desired inspiration that is done out of a reservoir of love. When your cup is full, then you're able to give, give to other people. And we have the Knight of Cups. 
So your desire is there. Your desire is there to give. You're giving out of aspiration. You're giving out of creative power. You're giving out of, um, you know, Nine of Cups is like wanting the best for everybody. But the Queen of Wands can also be, she's very inspirational and very inspiring. And she inspires other people. But she can also be very egoic. And she can also be the type of energy that... Um, Likes to be seen, wants to be seen, wants to be the center of attention, wants the attention. And so that's giving away your power, right? This is about taking back your, your personal power and giving from a place. See how the Knight of Cups here, he's like wiped out, <laughs> right? And the King of Cups up here is like bold and ready to go. So could be giving from a place that's um, you're running out of gas. It's the best way to say it, running out of gas. It's time to heal, right? This is how you're showing up. So let's see what this, what this is all about. What is this Four of Swords here? Too many, too many, too many, too many. One more time through. Okay, we've got the devil, so there's some sort of attachment. We've got the tower. And we've got the Knight of Wands. So what this tells me is, is that it's time to heal from overdoing it. Carrying the burdens maybe of other people, of other situations, of, um, you know, it's like trying to carry everybody uphill. And what if they don't want to go uphill? What if they want to stay at the bottom of the hill? Like if... Kind of thinking like you might know what's best for them. Um, there's an attachment to some kind of value behind that. Right? There's some kind of attachment to giving. And it could be validation. If you look at um, the narcissistic and the empath relationship, one needs attention. The narcissist needs constant attention. And the empath needs validation and acceptance. And so the empath is constantly giving validation and acceptance to the narcissist because the narcissist needs the attention. So they're two of the same thing, giving back and forth, right? The victim, the perpetrator, the victim, and the rescuer are all the same thing. And so there might be a attachment to that type of cycle. And it needs to end. The tower. It needs to be dismantled and there needs to be healing because it is a heavy burden to carry. And sometimes you may be stepping in um, somebody else's karmic lesson and not allowing them to go through what they need to go through in this lifetime, right? Um, and then carrying the burdens of that because those are energy attachments. And then they attach to you because you're, you're attaching to their energy. Right? It's all about like intertwining, entanglement, you know, um, trauma fusion, quantum entanglement, those types of ideas. So let's see what the Wheel of Fortune is. Things are turning around. This could be faded. This could have been on your path for part of your healing process as well. What is the Wheel of Fortune here, please? Sometimes this is about cycles and patterns that need to be looked at. Got the Hermit. Start seeking. We got the Three of Cups. Again, collaboration. Right? You might not be able to see this. That's why the Hermit is there. Um, you might not be able to see these patterns.
surprised uh, justice or temperance hasn't shown up yet with the imbalance. One more, please. One more, please, to clarify this. <clears throat> Four of Pentacles, stuck in a pattern. Stuck in a pattern of cycles, you might not be able to see this in collaborative efforts. You could be seeing it as, as a gesture of goodwill, which it is, but it's also the intent of which it's coming from. So usually when, when we give, or if we give, um, a lot of times you learn this in... Um, It's, it, it's associated with codependent behavior where you learn that um, if the addict keeps coming back and asking for something or wanting something for you and then they throw the whole guilt trip on you and you feel guilty and then you give in or whatever, um, you start learning how to, if you do help, you help from a place that you feels good to you. If it's coming from a place of guilt, then it, it's not helping the situation. But if it's coming from a place that where like you feel good about doing it and it, it helps enhance your life, then that's kind of like the groundwork that you go by on, you know, continuously giving or working with other people. Think of how hard it is to change yourself, right? That whole process of healing. Imagine how hard it is to change somebody else, right? Right? That's why we're all here to do our own work. We have to do our own work. There is no other way out. Can't be rescued. In fact, that just perpetuates the problem. So I'm going to get, um, I'm going to see this hopes and fears. Setting out on a new journey. You got the three of wands. Looking for manifestation. Looking to see that things are getting better. What is this Three of Wands, please? Clarify the Three of Wands for Cancer. All right, well, those two wanted the... Oh, there's three. We got the Ace of Cups. We got the Ace of Pentacles. And we got the Universe. Learn something new about um, love. How to give in love and what that looks like. It's not an enabler. It's time to change. Universe, time to change that. That's what you got here. World, changing how you collaborate in love. Because it's coming from a place more of validation than it is about self-evolution. Two different things. You might want to look... Um, you know, find resources that in regards to trauma bonding, you might want to find resources about the narcissist and empath relationship. You might want to find resources about codependency. Um, it, it, it all kind of melds together anyway. Um, but it's not really about doing anything wrong. It's about your own self journey and the process of being able to give from a place of your own abundance and your own inner well-being as opposed to being drained and burdened by it. So with that, Cancer, um, in the extended, there aren't really any signs coming through here screaming. You got Leo. I mean, there's fire signs, uh, two fire signs showing up here. But that's about it. So I'll look at fire signs in the extended. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I will look at tendencies that need to be released. And I will look at energies that need to be embraced during this time. For those of you not going on, I'm going to get some guidance from The Yogic Path by Sahara Rose. Message for Cancer, please. Message for Cancer, please. 
that two came out. I hope that I don't chop these names up because these are in Sanskrit. Uh, Patrahara and Bhavana Shivari. So let's see what those are for you. I'll read both of those. Patranara is a yogic term. <clears throat> Eight stages of yoga, control of the senses. Recently, you let go of some distractions in your life and everything has upgraded. You've realized that holding on to things, food, stimulants, or people only keeps you anchored to the physical world. Truth lies in letting go of all that is not you. The daily coffee, the piece of chocolate, the social media, addiction or need to buy or help others. Those were once such a part of your identity but have now diminished. This is time to go deeper into Patrahara and let go of the attachments, even those that are less obvious. Continue to meditate which draws you immediately into and illuminates what, is it, what it is you're still holding on to. It is only from here that you can listen to the truth within and act accordingly. Okay, and Bhavanarashvari is a deity. Goddess of space and infinite possibilities. Upright, you have learned the art of creating space and are experiencing the cosmos that exi exist inside of you. Bhavana Shavari comes to you in deep meditation, in profound nature, in oceans, and in silence. Her stillness guides you to enter deeper into the cosmic web of potentials that exist for you in the present moment. Continue making time for whatever brings you to a point of total stillness. This is where your true self resides. Know that you are not just part of the earth, but the earth is also part of you, and you are lovingly held by her presence. Create space between your thoughts, your breaths. Life can get a little too crowded. And Baba Navasha... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we're at the end here. So... Continue breathing deeply until it almost feels like you aren't breathing. The spaces have become longer and the breaths faint. This is how you experience the advanced state of meditation. So that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this helped. Until next time, for those of you going on, the link is below. See you there.